Cucumbers make a valuable addition to any garden and are easy to grow once you learn their secrets. Cucumbers have a fabulous yield and one plant can produce 20 pounds of fruit. They are easy to preserve and make into fun pickles. My boys love to have pickles in their lunch boxes. Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Cucumbers are a refreshing treat from the garden on warm, sunny days. In this video, we will go over all the things you need to know to get a great harvest. The varieties of cucumber you select will depend on how you plan to eat the fruits and what kind of garden space you have. Slicing cucumbers are best for fresh eating. Smaller ones are excellent for pickling. There are also some varieties that can be used for both, depending on when you harvest them. This one is called Market Moor and is a popular heirloom variety. Cucumbers grow on either a vine or a bush. Vining cucumbers do best on a sturdy trellis. They are more common in part because they produce more fruits per plant. Growing them vertically can also save space in a small garden. Another vining one I like is General Lee. Marketmore 76 is a vining variety and a great option for fresh eating. This cucumber is popular because it's a reliable variety that consistently produces long green fruits. Yellow varieties of cucumbers have become all the rage because they taste so good. One of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite varieties of yellow cucumber is the lemon a cute round yellow cucumber that does well for both fresh eating and pickling. Lemon cukes are also more drought resistant than many other varieties. Crystal apple is another yellow variety that I've had good luck growing. They always sold well when I was doing farmer's markets. Punakira cukes are brown in color at maturity. This variety is very disease resistant. Asian cucumbers are longer and seedless varieties that are great for fresh eating. You may hear them called burpless. Tasty Jade is a good one in this category. Gherkins are small, short cucumbers that only take 47 days to reach maturity and can be pickled whole. Russian pickling plants take a bit longer to grow, but I think they hold up well during processing. It has gotten popular to grow cukes in a greenhouse. If you have a greenhouse, you might want to do this on a smaller scale to extend your season. Look for parthenocarpic seeds, which set fruit without pollination. These hybrids are seedless and perform well in urban gardens where bees may be scarce. Keep in mind that these seeds are more expensive. Cucumbers do well in raised beds and containers. Look for bush varieties that are more compact. I'm trying Space Master this year and will let you know how it goes. Cucumbers need a 10 gallon grow bag or container with a 10 inch diameter, and that's for one plant. If you are growing vertically in a raised bed, you can get away with space spacing them closer at about six inches apart. I like to start cukes in three inch pots or 48 trays. The young seedlings need plenty of room. Cucumbers can also be started indoors three weeks early and then transplanted after the risk of frost has passed. This will give you a jump on the season. So mid-April for zone six people. Cucumbers are frost tender and should only be planted after all danger of frost has passed. I typically wait until after May 1 to plant cucumbers outside. That's for USDA Zone 6, so pay attention to the frost dates where you live. Vining cucumbers in the garden should be spaced about 12 inches apart in rows along a trellis. Bush cucumbers should be spaced about 18 to 24 inches apart, depending on the variety. Cucumbers are not drought tolerant and need lots of water. Make sure to water deeply when there is not enough rainfall and at regular intervals. 
Drip irrigation gives cucumber plants a regular supply of water and keeps moisture off the plant's leaves. Cucumbers produce flowers and most are pollinated by insects. Having honeybees nearby is a good thing. Cucumbers require moderately rich soil, so make sure to add amendments like compost to your garden for the best result. I typically fertilize with fish emulsion every couple of weeks while they are flowering and setting fruits. This is the cucumber beetle, and he is not your friend. The problem with these pests is that they spread disease. They go along munching on your plants and spreading bacteria. They are known to carry and spread bacteria wilt. Organic controls include handpicking, letting your chickens go after them, and controlling with yellow sticky traps. Organic pesticides include neem oil and spinosad. Cucumber bacteria wilt is characterized initially by the wilting and drying of individual leaves, especially those exhibiting cucumber beetle injury. Cucumbers and muskmelons are susceptible to this. The entire vine will wither and die. There is no cure, so you need to pull out diseased plants and just dispose of them. Grow resistant varieties and be diligent about crop rotation. To protect cucumbers from insect pests, you can use a row cover when they are small. If you grow parthenocarpic varieties, you can keep them under the cover all season, provided they don't get too hot. Beans and peas as good companion bees and Okay, my tang is, is all tangled. <laughs> Beans and peas are good companion plants for cucumbers, in addition to radishes, tomatoes, and cabbage. Planting sage nearby may harm cucumbers, so it is best to avoid planting those altogether. Keep them away from corn, since cucumber beetle will also infest your corn patch. Keep an eye on your cucumber patch and harvest before they get too big. Once the cucumbers begin to ripen, it is good to pick them every other day to make sure they do not get too big. They will get big fast. Pickling cucumbers are best pickled around four inches long, and slicing cucumbers are best picked six to 12 inches long. Saving seeds from heirloom and open pollinated varieties of cucumber is a great way to save money. Cucumbers will cross-pollinate with other varieties if they are grown nearby. Seeds saved from cucumbers that cross-pollinated with other species or other varieties of cucumbers will not produce true to their variety. If you are growing multiple varieties of cucumbers and want to save seeds, you need to identify a few blossoms to hand pollinate from the same variety. Then slip a mesh bag over the blossom to ensure that pollen from other varieties will not enter the bag. Wait until the cucumbers have changed color to yellow or bright orange. So they're kind of over mature. Once the fruits begin to turn soft, they are ready to be harvested for seeds. Mix the seeds and surrounding pulp with water and wait for one to three days before washing and drying them off. Then you can store them up to five years in a cool, dry place. I hope this information has been helpful. Please boop the like button and subscribe to my channel. I make videos on organic gardening and wildlife conservation. Check out my video on growing tomatoes next. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.